If you're like me and you have parts of your home that you find fugly, but you just don't have the time or money to update it, this video is for you. In this video, I really wanna show you how you can update and decorate your home without having to wait until you have the money or the time to do it right. This is about good enough. This is about small things that we can do so you can love your home in the meantime. I don't want you waiting until you can renovate your kitchen or buy new furniture to actually find your home beautiful. You can do things today, right now, easy, simple things, and someday you can do it perfect. Let's jump in with the first tip, which is the power of paint. I don't mind the green color that was here when we bought the house, but I also know the power of paint and especially white paint. I know what you're thinking. I don't want a sad beige baby house, Cass. White is boring. I used to think this too, but when I painted my last home white, it was magical. Not a pure white, but an off-white can transform your space. And painting is really fast and inexpensive to do. But updating your home with a new coat of paint, especially going with a beautiful neutral, it will brighten it, it will lighten it, and it will instantly update your space. Especially here in the front room, we need new carpets. It has a sunken, I hate the fireplace, but I'm crazy impressed with the transformation with just paint. Painting out the trim, painting the walls, painting out this fireplace. We didn't have to spend any money and it instantly looks decades more refreshed and updated. And of course, paint isn't just for walls. Don't be afraid to paint your furniture too. I really needed a small table for my breakfast nook area, but they were like thousands of dollars. I found one on Facebook Marketplace for $40. It had three chairs. It was gross though, like gross, gross, grimy and dirty and scuffed, but a quick like scrub and a couple of coats of spray paint. And this looks brand new. Do not discount the power of spray paint. I also recovered the chairs with some inexpensive fabric. I found a little bench that matched. And even though it only had three chairs, it totally works. $40, you guys. This looks completely brand new and it fits perfectly in this space. You don't have to wait until you save up for exactly what you want. Find something good enough today for just a couple of dollars and at least enjoy your beautiful space while you save for the things you really want. One thing that makes the space feel really dated is definitely light fixtures. Here in my front room, we had like sconces that were gold and a chandelier that just felt 90s, probably because it was put in in the 90s. But light fixtures, they it seems like they would be crazy expensive, right? Listen, Facebook Marketplace. Go on Facebook and you can find used light fixtures for a crazy steal. I found this beautiful one that we hung over the table for just $50. Never opened, still in the box. Amazing score. It was like brown, so a quick coat of spray paint and this retails for $300 and up, and I was able to get it for under 60, including the paint. I'm telling you, you can do the exact same thing. And over the fireplace, I just had Joe install some really inexpensive sconces from Amazon. I don't know if they're to code, you guys, but it doesn't matter. They're beautiful, and they were less than $30 each. So for under $100, all the lighting in this room was updated, and it makes a huge difference. We needed a new sofa for our front room. We just didn't have anything to put in this space. But going around furniture stores, I got sticker shock, like hard. I found one that I loved. It was over $4,000 for a sofa. Friends, what is this world coming to? I just can't spend that. So I remembered that my parents had a beautiful set that they got from Cozy, which is online. It's like a modular sofa set where you can kind of customize it and put the pieces together. So I wanted to give that a try for this space. I am so in love. They ship it to your door within a few days. You can really design exactly what you need for your space. So we have a five cedar sofa in here plus ottomans, gorgeous custom. Everyone in my family of five can fit on this. And the best part is they have washable covers. So yeah, it's white. Am I crazy? 
probably, but just zip off the covers, throw it in the wash, and you have like a brand new looking sofa all over again. The best part by far is that this is a fraction of the price that you're gonna find in stores. So not only is it module and washable, but you're saving a ton of money too. So don't be afraid when you're looking for new furniture to look for these modular options online. And I definitely recommend Cozy. Because the sofa was so big, it was the perfect size, it didn't leave any space for end tables, like traditional end tables or lamps. So I found beautiful lamps on Amazon. I'm just as shocked as you are. These floor lamps don't take up a lot of space, so if you don't have a big space, I definitely recommend them. And they're dimmable. They look gorgeous. They look high-end, but they were like cheap, cheap friends, like super affordable lamps. And I also found some end tables that are less than a foot. They have a charging station built right into them. These are about $30 each. I mean, they're not high-end looking tables, but if you're short on space and you need a spot to put your drink, these are perfect. Overall, I just have to recommend Amazon for little things like this. Lamps, side tables, don't be afraid to shop for furniture because you're gonna save a ton of money. My absolute favorite way to update a space is with pillows and blankets. Hi, I'm Cassandra and I'm a pillow addict. I know this, yes. Some people are like, I hate throw pillows. You just throw them on the floor. I got you, I get you, but listen, there's something pretty amazing about adding pops of color to your space that you can change for the seasons. It feels soft, it feels pretty, and yeah, I'm addicted to throw pillows, but I think it can absolutely update and transform a space, and you can get the covers for like four or five dollars from Amazon. So you don't have to spend a ton of money to really update an old, tired sofa. I wanna convert you. Come to the dark side of people who are addicted to throw pillows. It's nice over here and soft. Just saying. Speaking of softness, I'm a huge fan of a table runner. I feel like a tablecloth might be like a little bit dated, but a table runner, it's just enough to kind of camouflage the table that maybe you don't love or add some softness and color, pop on some flowers, and you have a really cheap way of making your table look beautiful. Plus, again, we can change it for the seasons. We need totes for pillows and table runners. That's what I'm talking about. Can we talk about accessorizing for just a second? I definitely am just using what I have, except I got some new coffee tables. I went to a discount home store and I found these two beautiful coffee tables. They're like round and small and different sizes and we snatched those. Emily and I like ran out of that store like we stole the place. They were an incredible deal and they just really ground the room. But let's add things you already have and group them together on top of your coffee table, just making it look fresh and updated on a budget. I have a lot of wall space that I feel like I have to put things on, but art is really expensive but floating shelves are not. They're really cheap. We took a trip to Ikea. We were walking around looking for inspiration and I just fell in love with these really inexpensive floating shelves. I think they're perfect in lieu of art on the walls because here's the thing, you can load them up with family pictures or art you have or plants or books. It's storage and decor in one, but you can also swap it out. So your space always feels kind of new. Put pumpkins up in fall or Christmas decoration at Christmas time. Floating shelves are a fraction of the price of art, but I think they look even better and they're super versatile. So if you have a space in your home and you're like, I just don't know what to put on that wall, don't discount floating shelves. And Ikea, they're really sturdy. They'll hold a ton of weight and they're crazy inexpensive. And my last tip when updating a space is just less is more. I have a tendency to want to fill every square inch with stuff, like dollar store stuff or anything I find. But I'm really realizing in this empty space that having some bare walls, having like less out, really does make it feel more modern, clean and fresh. 
You can do this by grabbing a box and just packing up some of your stuff, just putting it in another room for now and living with less to see how it feels. Does it make your room look bigger, more modern, more refreshed? Do you walk in and are you feeling happier in a space with less? If the answer is no, you can put it back, but I'm pretty positive the answer will be yes. And this is something you can do right this minute that costs you absolutely nothing. Grab a box and just edit one room and see how it feels. I'm definitely loving doing all these little decorating projects in my home. This isn't forever. I want to change things down the road. I want to get new carpet. I want to update this fireplace, but I don't have to live with the fugly in the meantime. There are things that we can do, small little things we can do today to love our home a little bit more. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more of these like easy, low budget ways to update and fall in love with your home, please hit that subscribe button and like this video so I know that you want more videos just like this and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. My husband and I are having a domestic over here. It's, it's tense, friends. What are we arguing over? Curtains, okay? In this front room, I feel like I love that it's so white and open, but it does feel unfinished to me. And on this window, this like bay window here and the patio window, I just want to put some soft white curtain panels, not covering the windows, but like beside the windows to add softness, to make it feel more finished. He loves them empty. He wants to go with the minimalist look. I think it feels cold. I hope you're team curtain, but let me know in the comments below. Like I legit want your opinion. I also want to convince him that I'm right, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I'm open to being wrong sometimes. I just, uh, I'm a curtain lover. He would prefer blinds or nothing or bare windows. We don't have anybody, like there's no neighbors to see in here. So it's not about privacy. It's purely about aesthetic and look. And so just coming from there, not worried about people peeking, there's no peeping toms out here. Would you prefer curtains or blinds or bare windows? Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to tally it up. Deep curtain. Hashtag deep curtain. I'll see you guys next time.